All right. Now let's talk a little bit about RDS licensing. Client access licenses, or what is called CALs, are required to connect to the RD session host. These licenses can be either user or device based licenses. So we have licensing per user or per device. Let's take an example. If we have 10 per user licenses, then 10 users can access the server from any device. But if we have 10 per device licenses, then any number of users can connect from 10 specific devices. I think the idea is simple. So you choose your licensing according to your network needs and architecture. As an example, if you have only three or five devices and you have maybe 10 to 20 users that may use these devices only to connect to your server, then you go to per device. Or if you have many devices, but limited number of users, then you can go per user license. It's up to you. Of course, in this lecture, I'm covering the concept of licensing and not the configuration. Later on, we'll go over licensing in detail, how to install, how to configure, and everything else. Now, just concentrate on the concept of RDS licensing and how it works. But in general, the licensing stuff will be managed by a licensing server, which is a part of the RDS installation. And as I told you, we'll see that later in the course. And whenever you install the RDS the first time, you will have a 120 days grace period before licenses are required. You can think about it as a trial period where you can test RDS and do whatever you want, build your labs, test everything before the RDS stops after 120 days. That's it for licensing. In the next lecture, we will go over the installation of RDS and we will start by the quick start installation. So follow up.